Well, it's the 1st of June and I'm out in a field of gallant. The ears are well and truly out here and they'll just be starting to think about flowering fairly soon. So um, one of the things we have to consider at this time of year is wheat orange blossom midge. And um, in order to try and assess the populations that we have using the integrated farm management approach um, is to set some pheromone traps. And we've got one of those just here. These traps uh, attract the male wheat orange blossom midges um, with a little bit of pheromone and you can just see that in there. Uh, and then what you do is every morning you come down and you just have a count up to see how many midges um, you've caught overnight and there's only there's only two in there. So that indicates that there is very low population of of midge flight basically last night and they need to have the right sort of environmental conditions before they'll they'll hatch and start to fly. So they need to have a moist soil so they can get out of the soil. Um, they need to have a still night so they can fly um, and mate on the wing. Um, and it needs to be um, a little bit warmer. So we're not expecting a massive problem at the moment, but I'll come back and check these traps over the next sort of three or four days um, till the, the wheat has started flowering. Um, and then we'll make a decision about whether we need to treat the crop or not. Um, fingers crossed with the cooler weather forecast for the bank holiday, these crops will just tick over um, and it won't be a problem, especially if it's a bit windy. That'll stop the uh, the adults from flying and mating in the air. So uh, we won't need to put an insecticide on here if we can at all help it. Um, if we do, we shall use something like Maverick, um, which will just take out the adults. If the, legs, if the eggs have already been laid, we won't be able to kill those. You'd need to use organophosphates to do that job, which is a product I don't like using on the farm. And now we've joined conservation grade. Um, that's actually banned now. So the only the only option we have is to try and control the flying adults and we can do that with a mixture of a T3 uh, fungicide um, on the ear wash to try and control fusarium um, and to reduce the mycotoxin risk uh, of the crop uh, which is sort of fungal spores if you like um, that can potentially uh, enter the food chain so um, yeah crops looking very well nice and green could do with probably a bit more of a drink but I uh, think it might get that this weekend fingers crossed